One question I get asked a lot is, what is the deal with the wolves? So my YouTube channel is called Wolves in Finance, which is an interesting name for a channel on accounting and corporate finance. Um, <laughs> uh, my uh, website's called wolvesinfinance.com. I also wrote a book on theoretical finance called On Wolves in Finance. So it begs the question, what is the deal with the wolves? And it's actually quite a personal story, so that's what I'm going to share with you in this video today. The story about when I lived with a pack of wild dogs. This whole story starts with me being cheap. So like every good accountant, I'm a very fiscally responsible person, and I hate to spend money when I don't have to. Um, I like to save. And so uh, this starts when I was thinking about going back to school and getting my MBA. And um, you know, if you want to get into one of the top MBA programs, you really have to quit your job and go full time. And at the time, um, I was living on my own in LA, and I really didn't have the, t the money and the resources to uh, just quit my job. So I came up with an idea, and I picked up the phone, I gave my parents a call and said, hey guys, what do you think about me moving back in with you, rent-free, to help me get my MBA? And that would have given me the funds I needed to go back to school. So here's where it gets interesting, because my parents really didn't have room for me to move in at the time. So many years before when I had originally moved out, my parents decided to pursue their dreams of breeding and raising hunting dogs. Now, <laughs> if you've ever experienced hunting dogs before, you know that they're not your typical domesticated house pet. Hunting dogs are pretty wild, and you want them to keep their wild instincts because it makes them better hunters. And so at the time, my parents had 15 hunting dogs. And so when I called up my parents and asked if I could move in, of course they said yes, but the deal was I would have to live with the 15 dogs. So I said, hey, Sounds like an adventure. I'll save a ton of money, so let's do this, and I signed up for classes. Now, in hindsight, this probably was not the best idea. It was really challenging, um, and it was not the most conducive environment to studying and passing my exams. Because what would happen is I'd be sitting there trying to figure out these financial equations, and I had all of these ferocious animals just running around me in circles. <laughs> just to clarify, this was not your typical puppy mill. So these were really well taken care of dogs. My parents fed these dogs better quality food than I normally eat. <laughs> uh, the dogs could run around the house and they would socialize with people. And so these were very well looked after dogs. Now, as difficult as it was to study in this environment, I do realize that I had an experience that most people don't get. What you discover if you spend that much time with that many dogs, you become a member of the pack. I got to see the social dynamics of a pack of dogs that most people never experience. So most people will get to experience maybe with three or four dogs at a time, but 15 dogs is a whole nother level. That is a true pack. What I experienced was very intricate social dynamics of a pack. So of course there's an alpha dog, but then each of the individual dogs has their own unique set of skills that they bring to the group and these dogs will work together, they play together, they communicate with each other. They're very social animals. That experience really influenced me. And so when I wrote my book on wolves and finance, I used the example of a pack of wolves. 
And I use this to illustrate some complicated economic concepts. Because just like a pack of wolves, we as humans are also pack animals. Of course, we have higher mental faculties and higher reasoning capability, but at our core, we still rely on these social dynamics with the other members of our pack. In the book, I present a radical new idea that you can value the relationships within your social network because it's these relationships that are impacting your financial decisions. If you want to check out more, you can always find my book. It's available on Amazon, um, On Wolves and Finance. And you can also check out my new book I just released, The Young Person's Guide to Money. If you like this video, click on the subscribe button. The best way to supercharge your business is through accounting and corporate finance, and I release a new video every week, so come back and check out next week's video.